Hola mis amigos, hope you're all doing well today. So in this video here today we're gonna fly up this uh, ribeye. It's uh, around $95 Canadian, 1,413 pesos. And it is uh, 4.5 kgs. So we're gonna cut this up and do uh, six to seven ounce steaks and I'm gonna trim up the fat here and show you how I was taught how to uh, fillet one of these bad boys. And we'll get a lot of steaks out of this for some barbecue. Hang on tight, my friends. Hey, my friends, so first thing we'll do is we'll get out of the bag here. I slid my garbage over so I didn't make uh, too big of a mess here. Swap that right here. Get the tag off. <clears throat> get my hand a quick rinse here. Now the first thing you do, you flip it over here, you can see it's got a fat cap here. Now, you usually take that off. I mean, I imagine some people at home, like mom or something, will probably leave this on. But uh, in the restaurant, you cut this off. You cut this uh, fat off. Now this here will save for a stew. We'll trim the fat off of there in a bit here. Save that for stew. Stir fry, whatever you want to do with it. It's not going to go to waste, that's for sure. I'll get this fat trimmed off. There's really not too much fat on this one. Usually they got a big fat cap on them, the ones that I've seen. This one's got a little bit here. Not a heck of a lot to take off, but we'll take off a little bit more here. Now you can trim as much fat off as you want. Personally, I like to leave a little bit for the flavor. It's this fine sinew, really, that you want to get rid of. That's just chewy. It's a very economical way to buy steaks, especially in the price of meat nowadays. And we'll break this down, the math, how many steaks I get out of it, and what it costs. I'll give you the cost of the steaks per meal, or per steak. That's pretty much it.
And this has already been trimmed back a little bit, for sure. But usually when you buy these, like when I've seen them in the restaurants, this is all a fat cap all the way through here. And we usually trim it back right to where they have it right here. And then take all this off. So you ever get one that's got fat on it all the way through? Trim it back so you got, you know, about two inches of fat left on the one side. That'll be good enough. So we'll start uh, forcing these and say I'll save this here, I'll cut it all up, get all the meat out of there, it makes good stir fry meat. I like to use it for stir fry. And the stew works as well. So I don't have a scale unfortunately, but I had a lot of years of experience, so that's probably about six ounces there. Yeah, I got a trusty tape measure here. Let's just have a really cut me that. Probably yeah, about an inch. So roughly about an inch thick. That one there be a little bit bigger. Steak's getting fatter as it goes down and then narrows out again, so that's probably closer to seven, so perfect. Nice little one for Dan and a medium sized one for me. It's probably about seven ounces. That's probably six, I would say. Now these ones here are all going to be about seven. The steak's a little bit fatter here. Probably six to seven ounces. I mean, you can marinate these and then freeze them. You can do whatever you want. If you want to just throw them right in the oven like or wrap them and throw them in the freezer like that. Put a little seasoning on them right away. Now, as I go down, I'll probably start cutting them a little bit thicker to uh, make up for the width here. I'll start stacking them there. As you can see, guys, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful steak there. That's the way you should be buying your meat, I'll tell you, if you like steak. Now, this is from Sam's Club. I can't remember if I said that or not, but Costco's about the same. The reason I buy the tenderloin is that it's a little bit cheaper. The ribeye is more money, but... We didn't have any tenderloin there. They were all sold out, so we bought the ribeye. A little more money, but you got more meat here too than what you get out of the tenderloin. There, we've got four meals already. Find the fat ones and run an arm and a leg for them. Uh, 
and we'll, uh, we'll cut this into two here. And then And you don't waste anything either because you just anything you cut off you can just use for uh, you know there's a steak there I'll probably use this as an extra one so I'll probably use this like for a breakfast steak and me and Jen will just share this in the morning ten meals so we'll uh, wrap this up in a minute here I'll just trim this up for you you don't have to get every little inch of fat off there but. Most of it off. Yeah, it's well done here, my friends. I'm gonna get this little piece here. Pretty thick of that right there. Enough. Yeah, it should be on something like that, right? It's hardly any waste there, it's all just fat I cut off, so perfect. Well, let's leave the rest now. We'll cut her up into little strips, however big you want. Let's do like stir fry strips. And we'll bag it. In the restaurant, you would actually date it, but we don't have a. I mean, if you got a big freezer and you're doing lots of meat, then definitely date it. So you know how long it's been in your freezer for. It's a good idea, good habit to get into, but just being Jennifer, we just have a small freezer. We're not going to date this. It's good to mark what you have and then as well date it. How you know how long it's been in there. When I had a chest freezer, I would date stuff when I made it and put it in there. Now we don't have a chest freezer no more. So yeah, that's a good, you know, probably eight ounces of meat there, easy, maybe even nine. So that's good enough for two people for a, for a meal. That's perfect. Perfecto. And that's it my friends, that's how you uh, trim up a loin. I'm not going to show you how to wrap it obviously, everybody knows how to do that. So, <laughs> have yourself a fabulous day. Adios amigos. Peace out. Okay my friends, so we did the math on this. It's $9.50 Canadian for two meals. Be sure to check out the video in the top left hand corner of your screen, me amigos. We'd truly appreciate it. Thank you very much.